The FDA is warning consumers to immediately stop using 26 types of over-the-counter eye drops. The agency says they aren't sterile, increasing the risk for infections that can potentially blind users. At the end of last month, they identified more than two dozen eye drops that are over-the-counter lubricants for people who have irritated and uncomfortable eyes. These are commonly used by as many as one-third of all Americans on a fairly regular basis. Another eye drop recall, if you want to know which eye drops are safe to use, Keep watching. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So, if any of that interests you, make sure to hit the like, follow, and subscribe button. All right, eye drops. Which ones are safe to use? It's absolutely insane at the number of recalls that have occurred since spring of this year in the last six months. Now we've got another eye drop recall. It pulls another 28 eye drops off the shelves of stores you probably go into. CVS, Target, Walmart, Rite Aid, just to name a few. And this follows on the heels of another FDA warning to Amazon, so online stores as well, talking about seven different eye drops supposed to be for floaters and pink eye, and none of them have an FDA approved application for those purposes. But let's get back to the most recent recall. This is very similar to the one that happened in the spring, which was linked to a series of deadly eye infections with a multiple drug resistant type of bacteria. That just means that usual antibiotics are not enough to combat the bacteria they found in the contaminated artificial tears back in the spring. And you can check out that video right up here I talked all about it. That was linked to a manufacturer in India, which was not using sterile conditions. And guess what? Same thing is happening now for the 28 eye drops that are being pulled from all these drugstore shelves. Healage Healthcare is voluntarily pulling their eye drops with expiration dates from November 2023 all the way to 2025 because of safety concerns from the FDA. The FDA investigators found unsanitary conditions in their manufacturing plants. Since the spring, there have been eight separate announcements of eye drop recalls. Most of the time, people think that eye drops are safe, and usually there are, but there's a caveat with this. Eye drops can bypass the body's regular defense system because you're placing them right into the eye. Typically, we always thought, well, not a lot gets into your systemic bloodstream, so they're probably pretty safe. But there's a reason we have very strict protocols in place to keep things sanitary, and this is why. In the problem with Ezercare back in the spring, it was linked to multiple drug-resistant types of bacteria across 16 states. There were a few deaths, people went blind. It's very, very serious. Even the Amazon recall, though they didn't show signs of infection, they didn't look at the manufacturing plants of these Amazon drops, and I'm going to list them right here, of the seven drops that Amazon no longer sells, but I still found them online of several reputable drugstore brands, so be careful. Unfortunately, with homeopathy, sometimes you really don't know the conditions under which the eye drops were made. And if they were made with preservatives, if they're made preservative free, they need to have a valve system in place with the bottle to prevent the uptake of bacteria when it touches your eye. Some people touch their eye or if it's in your purse or it gets exposed to bacteria in numerous different ways and then from getting placed within your eye and consequently your body. So given all the recent infections and the contaminations of eye drops, which ones are sick first? If your eye doctor has given you a prescription for glaucoma drops or an antibiotic drop or something else, given you got surgery coming up or you've had surgery, please do not throw those away. Do not stop using them. Prescription eye drops are sick. The eye drops that we're talking about that most have been recalled are usually over-the-counter eye drops. What does that mean? That means that you don't need a prescription to buy them. So a lot of these drugstore brands 
will make an artificial teardrop that's branded to a particular drugstore. They get that manufactured typically out of the United States. And sometimes the conditions in those warehouses do not meet the FDA standards. And that has been the problem. If you have bought an eye drum and you can always check a couple different resources, they were going to give you the full list. You can look at the American Academy of Ophthalmology's website at aao.org. There's a patient resources section and it's got a list of all different drops. I'm also going to put it in my show notes and you can check the CDC and the FDA.gov. They've also got the comprehensive list because they keep adding more. But if it's a drop that's been prescribed by your eye doctor for treatment of an infection or glaucoma or something else, please don't throw it away. If it's a drop that you have purchased from the drugstore or online via Amazon, check it against the list. And if you have a question, absolutely, please check with your eye doctor. That's what we're here for. I'm gonna put the comprehensive list below. You just wanna be safe. Don't think that you can use just anything. I do agree with a lot of homeopathy type remedies because I have Indian heritage. This is very big in uh, India. So I like to fuse Eastern and Western often, but in this particular case, I would be safe. Avoid the homeopathic eye drops, especially the ones that have been recalled from Amazon and just use eye drops prescribed by your eye doctor. Most of us even sell artificial tears if you're scared to use a specific type of artificial tear with everything that's going on. Most of us will sell artificial tears in our office and branded artificial tears are also safe. I am not sponsored by any of these companies, but things like Restasis, Blink, Gentil, Sustain, Vera Tears. These are all companies that have made artificial tears for a very long time. They are branded and they have very strict controls over their manufacturing. Again, when in doubt, absolutely check with your eye doctor. If you are noticing any burning, any irritation, any redness, any pain, stinging, decrease in vision, then you absolutely need to make an appointment with your eye doctor, bring in all the drops that you're on so that we can check it out. That is going to be the safest way to know if your eye drops are safe to use. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I know it can be a scary time and some of us with dry eyes, you might feel like you don't know where to turn, but hopefully this will give you a comprehensive list. I put everything in my show notes. Take a look and check out those websites I mentioned before. If you got any other ideas about videos you'd love for me to make, please let me know in the comments. I read each and every single one of them, and I try to make videos based on your suggestions. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.